helping healthcare professionals kind of use Instagram to, to help their businesses. So yeah, that's exactly what it does. It's yeah. amazing. So now what I'd like to do is dive right in and kind of understand a couple of things about you. First of all, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. How are you? Very well. Thank you. I appreciate good, it. Good. Yeah, it, this is great. So what I'd like to understand, and this is in the context of thriving in your business. Mm -hmm. I saw a post a little bit ago about a, a time when you were in your practice, when you were having an especially difficult time. And in it, you noted that one of your patients, someone that, you know, is a, is a very, uh, someone who is intimidating, let's say, I think that's the, the words you totally. use. Yeah. And someone, but it was still very nice. And I guess he noticed that you were, you were experiencing stress, you were experiencing, you know, angst. And he came to you and he said, don't give up on your dreams, like out of the blue. And now, totally. you know, fast forward, look yeah. at what you've done, look what you're doing. You made it through 2020. By the way, how's your, how's your husband and family, everything okay, doing good? Yeah, we're all doing really well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, so we made it through 2020. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah. what, I love, what, what I'd love to understand from you specifically is kind of what could you share with our viewers about how to overcome some of those things so that you can thrive and, and experience, you know, joy in your practice? Yeah, so I think understanding the first thing of like life is 50-50. And so there's always going to be like 50% that's really incredible and really amazing and 50% that's not quite as fun. And so when you just accept that that's kind of like the human experience that life is like truly 50-50, then the times that are more difficult, you can look at them as like learning experiences and look at them as ways that you, you can be challenged and ways to grow from it. I was actually talking to somebody the other day and I was like, yeah, like if you've never made a dollar in your life and somebody gives you a thousand dollars, you're going to be in such scarcity because you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't spend this. Like I have to make good decisions. I'm going to lose it or whatever. But like, if you are able to just, if you create the thousand dollars, then you understand that like, even if you lose that thousand dollars, you could create that thousand dollars again. So it's not that big of a deal. So like, when you're having a rough time, like look at it as like, I'm going through this challenge and I'm growing as a person, as a business owner, as an individual or whatever it is, um, as a clinician. And on the other side, I'm gonna have such a tremendous skill that like nothing can get in my way. So that's like one way of how to get through some of those tougher times. It's, it's amazing because in, in light of everything that's gone on, in light of everything, and you're right, not everything is awesome. And when things aren't, where do you find kind of the, the energy? Because you're so inspirational in the perspective that you have and the love that you have for your family and your, your, your patience. Mm -hmm. where, where do you get that? What's, what's, what kind of drives that? Um, honestly, I just really love what I do. Like dentistry is so fun to me. It's like, that's my, I was telling my staff today, like, that's my zone of genius. Like, you know, that's where I feel like I can do anything or, and if I can't do something, then I, I know who I can send it to, to have it done. But like, I'm really able to help people. So it's just really fun for me. So that's where I get the energy from. I like feed off the fact that I love it so much. Um, so I think that's where that comes from. That's cool. Oh, that's fantastic. Feed off of that. When you were struggling, what was it that was, that was kind of getting to you? I mean, enough that someone could feel it, could sense it with you. What was going on at that time? So I, I think that that, pa that specific patient knew um, the situation, but I, he didn't know anything on, from me. He just knew kind of what was happening. I had, uh, unfortunately, a bad like, business partnership. Um, and so it was a very like alarming situation and that dentist stopped practicing dentistry, like very shortly after the partnership began without any notice to me. So, and it, it was just a really difficult time because a lot of the, most of the patients left the practice and like the, I had just made this huge investment and my, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I even going to like keep the doors open? So that's what I was dealing with behind the scenes. And it was his first time coming in since 
since that had happened. And I think he probably got wind of it because he, he's very like well known in the community. So I don't know, I, I didn't tell him anything, but he just came in and like said all the right things at all the right time. I was, that day specifically, I was having like a really rough day. I remember um, behind the scenes and I was like on the phone in my office with my husband, probably really teary eyed. And then I was kind of like, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing, like how I'm ever gonna make this happen. And then he came in and he was like, listen to me. <laughs> and he had all this wisdom and all these things to tell me. And I was like, you know what, if one person is here, like, I, I kind of felt like it was a, a gift, like a sign, like, you know, yeah. if because uh, I didn't expect him to say anything. He, I've never talked to him about the situation. He's never heard from me or like anyone in my practice anything. So I was like, if he's saying all these things, like maybe I should stick it out. And, and so, yeah, so. And you did. I sure did. I, I love the context of don't give up on your dreams because it's it's such a powerful, very simple, but very deep statement. And you clearly, what are some of the things from that point, what are some of the things that you did or what did that, the commentary around that or that the energy that he gave you inspire you to do from there? You know what? It, it really just inspired me to focus on taking care of every patient that I had, like really deeply focus on them and what I'm able to do for them and just be like over deliver in every single way I could in their experience at my office. And, and I love that I've done that because I truly care about the patients and I care about it. It's more about like them and what I can do for them than like, okay, how much money can we make in this business? Right. It's like, I always know that if you give all of yourself and you give everything you have, like, the business will end up running itself in a way and you don't have to worry about like every single dollar that's coming in and out. You just have to like focus on giving the best care that you can and doing the best work that you can do. So I think that's one of the things that really came out of it. Oh, that's wonderful. And it, it, it clearly, you know, when you look at the thrive and how your business is thriving, you mentioned that through 2020, a lot of practices have, have really struggled through this period, yeah. it sounds like that you were able to come through that, even though it wasn't as, you know, as crazy or busy. Yes. I mean, I, fortunately, I was really busy. So I was able to grow my practice by a little over 20%, which is pretty amazing, actually. Um, so, you know, it's just a testament to like, whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. I mean, my business was closed for three months in 2020. And I still was able to grow and collect 20% more. And again, it's just it comes down to like, you can do whatever you put your mind to really. So for viewers, for people who are sitting here, for people who are experiencing or potentially experiencing, you know, some of that, what, what are the top one, two, three things? What's the advice that you would give people? So I like to think of like knowing what you want and thinking of your long-term goal in three years from now, because I think sometimes five years feels so long away and one year is like, feels like a lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but three years, I think is a really good, like, like, where do you want to be in three years? What do you want to be doing? Like, how do you want to live your life? And I think thinking of like how you want to be living and what you want to be doing and how you want to be spending your time. And then kind of like, thinking every day, like, what can I do that's going to push me forward by just 1%. And I love looking at it by like 1% because it's not this huge change that you have to do. You, yeah, there's no pressure to like do a bunch of stuff overnight or whatever. It's just like just 1%. Like anyone can improve something by 1%, right? So I, I like to think of it that way. That would be probably my first thing. The second thing, again, like remembering that life is 50-50 and like accepting the bad. And, and again, once you accept that sometimes 50% of life is not as fun, you can just look at anything that you're going through as like, okay, so how am I going to learn from this? Like, where can I, for example, fix the holes? And I always think of your business as like a bucket and like having a bunch of holes in it. Yeah. And then like, if you have any leaks coming through the bucket, like how can you plug them up? So like bet bettering your systems and stuff like that. Um, and just, just accepting that like any of the bad times are temporary because sometimes 
I actually, I think I just posted about this tonight, but like if you're having um, like a really, really good day, even that's temporary. So enjoy it while it lasts and like celebrate it and, and be excited about it. And then when it's, you're going through a rough time, that's temporary too. So just remind yourself of that and then see where you can learn. Um, and then the other thing is in dentistry to always be learning because there's always new things coming out. There's always new ways to do things. And it's good to keep learning. I think in healthcare in general, we're, we're always, we always have to be learning. I think that's the best thing. And I, I see, you know, a lot of people who think they know it all and you never know it all. And I see the opposite of a lot of people that are always willing to learn. And it seems that the ones that are always willing to learn from someone younger, or older, more experienced, less experienced, just end up having greater skills, having just everything seems to be a lot better in that way. So always be learning. Those are my favorite things. Oh, I love it. I love it. Are there any people that really inspire you or that, that have really been come through uh, when, when you really needed them? Well, of course, my family, <laughs> uh, my family, of course, but also, um, like, I'd like to think a lot of my colleagues uh, in my area really have been supportive of me. And, you know, maybe that's another thing, like building relationships in your community and making friends with people. So, you know, if you're going through a rough time, you could lean a little bit on people. I remember when I was having my daughter, I had so many people reach out to me and be like, if you need anyone to cover, like, just let me know. Like, I don't want you to worry. Just spend your time with your daughter. It's so precious. You'll never get that time back. And I was like, wow, that's like really sweet that people would like reach out and like tell me that. And, you know, they just really wanted to be there for me. So, um, yeah, that, that would be like a secret fourth tip. <laughs> well, First of all, that's absolutely wonderful. I love the posts. I love the sentiment and the message that you're giving out there. There's a wonderful positivity and a caring that you have. Clearly, I'm sure your patients can see that, your team, your family. It's absolutely wonderful. If people wanted to reach out or get in contact with you, what are some of the ways that they can? Oh, Instagram DMs. I am, I'm always responding to my messages there, so... Um, just at Dr. Yazda and you guys can send me a message there. I'm happy to respond. Sometimes it, it takes me a couple days, but if you send me a message, I will get it and I will respond. Awesome. And your practice down in uh, uh, Newport Beach, is it? Cos yes. Uh, Center for Cosmetic uh, and Restorative Dentistry. Fantastic. Yeah. Check it out. Well, I want to thank you. I really want to thank you for taking the time. I mean, it's it's been a long day. You're mm -hmm. taking the time to speak with us, share kind of the uh, the essence of how you get there, how you thrive, and how you can enjoy what you're doing. Love the fact that you're so caring about everything, your business, and yourself. So Thank you. Uh, maybe I at some point it. here, we, I'd love to have you back to see how you're doing. Would you be? Of course. I would love that. <laughs> well, fantastic. I'm not going to keep you that much longer. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Desiree Yazdan. And, of course. Uh, those of you who, who are watching here, please, if you have any questions for her, please reach out to her. Check out her Instagram. If you like this content, share it. If you have any questions for us, uh, I would love to hear from you. Dr. Desiree, it's a pleasure. I really appreciate you taking the well, time. Well, it's a, such a pleasure to be here. And I just have to say, I love your guys' products. So oh. you guys have awesome products. If any of you guys are dentists watching and you have not yet gotten the Isolite, I don't really know what you're doing. So <laughs> you guys got to look it up and like it is, you know, it's some next level, really high quality stuff. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much yeah. for that. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank Please you. You too. Us and, and wonderful rest of your week. And I'm sure yeah. we'll talk. To you. Okay. Yes, we will. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Thank you. Appreciate You're welcome. It. Bye. Bye-bye. Right.